Hello everyone. Welcome you all for another new video tutorial. My name is Shanika Vikramasinghe. In this video tutorial, we are going to look at how to install Java using the latest Ubuntu 22.04 LTS version and Oracle JDK 17 for this demonstration. So if you are not sure about your current OS, you can use a simple Linux command and first check your current OS. So let's start with first checking the, the current OS version that you're running in your Linux machine. So go to a new terminal and then simply type lsp underscore release minus a. So this will show you what is your Ubuntu version. So I am having Ubuntu 22.04.1 LTS version. So I will be installing Java on this Ubuntu version. So next, uh, if you already have a Java uh, to check whether you have already have another Java version in your machine, you can use Java minus minus version command. So this will show you that uh, you don't have any Java uh, installed in your machine. So now let's uh, go and check how we are going to install Java on your Ubuntu 22.04. So when it comes for installing Java on Linux, there are a few methods that people are using. So, but uh, in this video tutorial, I will be using uh, installing Java using bash rc profile method. So using bash rc profile method uh, has one important advantage, uh, which is uh, if you want to run multiple Java versions in your machine, then it will be really uh, easy to switch between multiple Java versions if you install Java using this bash rc profile method. Assume that you have an application and you want to test this application against Oracle JDK and Open JDK. And also you want to test this uh, application against multiple Java versions like uh, JDK 11, JDK uh, 17, likewise. So in that case, if you want to install one Java version and then uninstall it, and then to install back another Java version, then that will be uh, time consuming. And also you have to use a lot of install and uninstall commands. But if you use this bash rc profile method, just simply by updating uh, one line in the bash rc profile, uh, you can switch between multiple Java versions very easily. So therefore, in this video tutorial, let's see how we are going to install Java using bash rc profile method. So first, you have to download uh, Java. So for that, you can go to official Oracle website. If you don't have an account, you can create an account here. So I have already created an account. So it will uh, land me to this download page. So I will include these uh, links in the video description as well. So from here, you can select Linux uh, 64 compressed archive version and click on uh, this version. Uh, click on uh, this link. So it will download uh, Oracle JDK 17.0.5 version for your machine. So click on this link, then it will download the file for your machine. So I have already downloaded it. I will go uh, for the folder path which I have downloaded it. So this is the downloaded um, file. You can uh, simply right click on this and click on extract here, then it will extract the file here. So after extracting, go inside this JDK 1705 folder and then here you can find a folder called as bin. So this is uh, the file path that will be important for you to set the Java home in your bash rc profile. So you can open a terminal from here. Then type pwd command. So it will show the current uh, folder path which you are in. So you can copy this file path and then go to the home directory. 
and open another new terminal. And with this terminal, we are going to open the bash rc profile file. So for that, I will be using this command sudo vim dot bash rc. So if you want to look at the file folder path which I am in, so it is home shanika. So you can again type vim sudo vim dot bash rc. So here uh, you have to use this sudo as well because we have to do this with a uh, root access privileges. So therefore, please use sudo command uh, when you are opening the bash rc file. And also vim, uh, if it's not installed in your machine, you can use a simple command uh, with a sudo apt get install vim and you can get it installed and then open this file and enter the password we are going to machine. So this will open a file uh, like this. So this file we call as the bash rc profile. So go down. And here you need to set the file path that you uh, copied previously. You can enter simple i from your keyboard and then it will give you the insert mod then type export java underscore home equal and then paste the file path that you copied so after that you have to export this java home uh, variable that you defined uh, in this line uh, as shown below so for that you can use export path and then um, put this java home environment variable name and give the a folder path for the bin directory as shown uh, in this line so these are the only two commands that are required uh, for you to set the uh, for to set your java or to uh, get your java version updated in your machine then you can click uh, esc from your keyboard and get exit from the insert mode and wq to save the file changes and hit enter next there's another important thing that you need to do so after you update the bash rc profile uh, to get the changes applied uh, in any terminal that you open from your linux machine there's another command that you need to run so that is uh, this command so you can type this command and hit enter. So this will simply update your uh, Java version. So if you uh, didn't type this command and open a new terminal and check the Java version, then it will not show you the updated Java version. So after you uh, type this command only, you will be able to see the updated Java version. Now I can use another new terminal. And I will check my Java version uh, by typing this command. So here you can see it will show me now my Java has been updated for Java 17.0.7. .7. So I am running Oracle JDK here. So now uh, assume that you want to uh, switch your Java version and you want to get it updated uh, for Open JDK. So what we have to do is simply you can go for the folder path where you have downloaded um, your OpenJDK. So I have OpenJDK version which is downloaded here. So this version is 17.0.2. Go inside this and go to the bin directory as we did earlier then simply get this file path now you saw uh, with the java minus minus version command my java version is now on 17.0.5 uh, now i'm going to update it for openjdk 17.0.2 so let's do it and see how it works
go here what you have to do is you can add another line like this and paste the new file path that you want to get updated and you can simply comment out the above line so likewise if you want to maintain multiple java versions you can uh, have the required file path like this and then if you want to enable uh, jdk 17.0.5 you can simply comment out the other lines and have only this line uh, included in this file so now i'm going to enable jd open jdk 17.0.2 so i commented out the above line and enable only this line so this is the only change that you need to do to switch between multiple java versions when you are using bash rc profile uh, you don't need to do any update here because it will be same for every case. Now uh, you can save the changes and get it updated from this command. And now type Java minus minus version to see the Java version. Okay, now you can see it has been updated for OpenJDK 17.0.2. Uh, so I think um, it will be really very easy to switch between multiple Java versions by using this method. If you install Java in your Linux machine by using this bash rc profile method. So I think this video tutorial will um, help you to get install Java uh, very easily on your Linux machines. So if you enjoy this video tutorial and if you hope that this will be uh, supportive for you you can subscribe for my youtube channel and thank you uh, for watching this video tutorial